Today's outcrop of the day is this nice big jasperoid. I've been mapping these for a couple of days now and it's become pretty clear that these things are hydrothermal replacements of limestone units. You can still see some of the relic bedding in this one here, but they've also got lots of manganese staining all over them. It's pretty common to see plumose textures in manganese oxides on fractures in weathered rocks but it's not so common to see it as a primary hydrothermal mineral. And I've been wondering if this is actually hydrothermal or secondary, and today I think I got my answer. And I think it's hydrothermal because of this specimen. In this sample here, you can see these beautiful plumose aggregates of manganese oxide, and they're overgrown by druzy hydrothermal quartz. So, it's pretty clear to me that the manganese grew first and the hydrothermal quartz was a later event. And in this case, this saccharoidal quartz over here probably used to be limestone. So I think the manganese oxides replaced the limestone and then the quartz event grew over the top of them and replaced the limestone to make saccharoidal quartz.